Hi guys, it's Carl from Monkey Mod again. So today, I'll be bringing you something that are quite interesting. Uh, so as you can tell, this is a A3 receiver. <laughs> I don't know if it's called A3 receiver, but uh, something like a handguard. Uh, to make the Le Hue AUG looks like A3. Uh, this is not the metal CNC uh, handguard receiver. Uh, this is the 3D printer, print, 3D printer part by the DK. Uh, DK is a very very popular 3D printer in China that makes very good stuff for the gel blaster. They makes a lot of the uh, what you call uh, the hop up, the 3D printer hop up, and then some cool accessories uh, 3D printed for the gel blaster. And this is one of the latest products. So uh, this is the. I don't know, front hangar, <laughs> whole receiver, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, uh, this is 3D printed. I actually give it a light coat of paint, so it actually looks very nice. It doesn't even look, look like a 3D printed part from a distance. Even up close, the, the grain, the 3D print grain is actually very mine, uh, very, sorry, very minor and it's very fine. Like, from the camera, you probably can't tell it's even 3D printed. Uh, uh, this is the front piece, and this is the back piece that extend, you know, extend the pop rail. Not really extend the pop rail, it's just there, you know. Uh, the master goes here. So anyway, so how it looks like once it's on. Uh, this is a 3D printed outer barrel, a short outer barrel for the AUG. If you don't want to spend too much on the steel outer barrel, although which I will strongly recommend because this is 3D printed as well it's cheap, it costs almost half as much as the steel outer barrel but you know it's 3D printed so it's not as durable it does have a CCW uh, thread again, if you're going to use metal muzzle <laughs> it's probably not going to work well for this thread because 3D printed versus metal you know, you're probably going to chew up all the thread so enough so anyway, uh, but if you're on a budget, this certainly can be considered. The 3D printing quality is quite nice. So, uh, as comparison, this is uh, one that's not painted. Let's get it out. So on a non-painted, you can see that it's shiny. Although, acceptable still. The 3D printing quality is really nice nowadays. Like compared to just a few, just a one, just one year back, so this is like, this is so nice. But of course, you can tell a non-painted surface will have the uh, quite a nasty uh, reflection. So I definitely will recommend you to give it just a light coat of uh, black paint, and then it will look real nice. Covers up all the you know the print, printing grains and the shinies. So alright, let me just set this aside. I'm going to install this on my AUG. Extension, extension piece as well, so you can tell. I mean, this is 2D painted. Uh, this is not non painted. This is painted, so you can tell the shininess there. Right. All uh, right, and this is actually uh, another product that I want to introduce because. Personally, find this, find this really cool. This is a Surefire style suppressor. This is the latest product from LBT. This is a Warden. So you can tell there's actually type of uh, cuts up here. It's not really a suppressor per se. Some something like a compensator. I'm not sure, but it looks cool enough. You know, with the cuts out here and there, and also it has a 16 mm diameter opening here, so you can pretty much install any sort of uh, hop-up if you wish to. So I'm going to install this into the AUG later on, so we'll see how it looks like. Alright, so uh, to start, to start, you have to remove the fabric first, which I already did. Uh, to remove this is really simple, just from where it is, there is a small pin. Just punch it out and then you should be able to get 
to able to get the uh, fog grip out. But bear in mind, the pin is a one-way pin, so you can tell one of one side of the pin actually has a friction there. So be mindful where you punching it out. Just be careful, you know, before you do, before you remove this pin. And once you remove that, uh, it's, it's going to be pretty difficult to put it back on. So you have to split open it so you can attach the spring again. So and otherwise, it won't work. So. So this, so this aside. So actually, I have no idea what to do now. So I'm just going to go go through it quite slowly. So first, I will be installing this piece. Uh, I assume I have to take off the top wheel first. So let me just do that. Then grab the extension piece and just slide it over. And then it gives that a uh, fuller look and then it should sit flush right and that's about it I guess now uh, it appears that you will also need to take off this front mount because this is where the where the screw hole will go to securely install the piece into here so let me just Try and do that right now. Let me get my pin punch. Right, comes right off. So this again is a one-way pin. This is where the friction side is. So it was like so. So you should punch out the pin from this direction, from where the charging handle is. So from from here you punch it out, and that comes out quite easily and this is the, the mount pretty sturdy actually I think you can actually use it quite safely right with that out now I think that's pretty much it to install it so you have this this screw hole here I don't know why this is a screw hole but this and here so just two point and then you can pretty much just slide in but if you have the 3D printed outer barrel you can install it prior if you need some help in how to install this you can check my previous video on the complete mod guide on the Lokwe AUG so basically this is the same length as the steel outer barrel I have here it's the exact same length right so that side Uh, actually, there is a Picatinny rail, not the stock AEG style. The Picatinny rail that will matches this uh, standard Picatinny rail here, but I don't have it right now. So maybe next time I will install it. But and it's not not no real big deal there. Uh, one thing to be to know about the extension piece comes with a longer screw here. It replaces the screw, the stock screw here. So that now this screw can go all the way down to that side, uh, the, this piece here. So let me just get that out. Okay, uh, so the top wheel is installed and it fits really nice. I really have to commend DK for making this uh, hangar receiver thing uh, because the rail lines up really straight. There's no unevenness between the metal rail and the 3D printed rail that comes with. So that's really nice. So let me just continue installing the whole thing. Uh, this is the screw packs that comes with the A3 kit. So let's see what they do. This small nut, small nut goes here. It has an indentation here for you to sit in the nut. Alright, so once you have the first screw installed, it should look something like this. And this should sit flush. 
Now, uh, you may have to adjust a little bit here and there because you know, 3D printer parts not always consistent. So, there may be a chance that where your bolts and nuts is not aligned, then you have to you know, pull a little bit to make it fit. So, once it's fit, it looks like this. So, then the, the other screw here, the larger screw, and the larger nut. So once you have the screw all the way down and you push it the other side, you just put where the nut is. And we are pretty much done. I guess they included a few more screws here. Should you need to uh, center the outer barrel here? I suppose if you have a 3D printed one, maybe it's not that stable. So you want to install this screw here and here to, you know, to secure the outer barrel. But since I, have, I already have a steel outer barrel here, so I won't be doing that. Right, and there we go. It. The A3 kit, 3D printed A3 kit in stock. Now, to be frank, I think this is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's 3D printed and stuff, so it's not going to be durable. If you throw this around, it's going to break. But if you are gentle, they probably will last you for a very long time. And plus, it's pretty cheap. It goes like the whole set goes for like. 120 bucks ringgit Malaysia uh, compared to the coming soon um, aluminum CNC A3 kit which will cost you about 4 to 5 times Oops. Uh, than this 3D printed A3 kit though that one is pretty nice as well I've seen the previews the whole, whole chunk of aluminum there but I'll be doing a review on that when it's available so for this, this 3D printed kit, I think it's very worth it. It makes your A3 looks that much cooler. I mean, if this is a thing, <laughs> of course. Now, um, because I already have the shutter barrel installed, I can install the muzzle right away. And it wouldn't look weird. So uh, this is how it's going to look like with the, with the steel muzzle. I personally really dig this. It looks that much cooler. Let's just put the magazine here and see how it looks like. I don't have any optics in, so I'll uh, probably put on some cool optics and take a nice picture. Now, um, actually, we are, we are already done here. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is just um, put the warden in and see how it looks like. If you have uh, dealt with this or RC2 before, you know the system is pretty cool. It has a quick detach system. Like, uh, you press on the latch here and then you just screw it. Then you can get access to the nice wall comp steel muzzle here. It has some engraving that says that it's a wall comp, surefire wall comp. So let's just spoil it and just. <laughs> This is very cool, very nice. So I'll probably just be able to pop a uh, whatever pop-up that I have. I have LDT nylon here. They should fit right in. Or not. <laughs> I guess now it's a bit too tight. Alright, oh well. Um, maybe I'll do something about that later on. But that's not the point here. I'm going to put on the very cool uh, compensator here I guess for sure but with this compensator and the uh, right uh, inner barrel you'll be able to install any hop up here so this will fit right in that like so if it flush so I'm just going to take this off first and install it to the unit right uh, once it's in position there's actually a lock here uh, the notch here that way you have to match the 
match on the suppressor or the compensator unit. So one is in, and all you need to do is just screw it in. And you hear the clicks as you screw in. Right. And this is how it looks like. This is a Warden 5 inch. There's also a 3.5 inch stubby type. Uh, I think this looks cool. So let me see. Ah, uh, this side. So you have a quad rail now. Left, right, bottom for your bottom, you know, for your vertical grip, whatever. And then a nice long top wheel here. You can finally put a nice pair of a front and the rear side and whatever optics you wish to. So I think um, my conclusion is this is a really nice kit. Uh, it's 3D printed, but it's pretty nice. It's printed in really, it's, it's printed, it's well printed. Uh, the grain is very manageable. Just a light coat of a paint will cover cover it just nice. And then from this distance, from where the camera can capture it, it probably doesn't look weird. Uh, of course, metal will be better, but for the price, this is pretty good. So I can I can definitely recommend this mod on your AUG if you want the A3. But I'm not willing to spend on uh, uh, on the aluminium CNC uh, A3 receiver. I personally recommend this over the aluminium because that one is just too much. You know, it's too expensive, but. If you want the best AUG, if you want the best for your AUG, let's only go for that. But if you're on budget, or even if you're not a fan of the A3, this you can definitely consider. I can recommend this. And that's it for the video. This has been a short video review and installation of the DK, DK A3 3D printer kit. So if you have any comments or any questions regarding this kit, uh, you can you know, ask your questions in the comment sections. I'll do, do my best to answer answer yours. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.